All right, it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of making a video game. I shouldn't say that. that. That belittles the rest of making a video game, but this is this is definitely where things get real. Now, programming is definitely the biggest endeavor. This is the death by thousand cuts. It's a bunch of small things that you have to build up upon that uh, that eventually become one big thing. You know, it's it's like how math, uh, where you almost like master addition before you can really understand what multiplication is. So let's kind of go into the same thing here. Script, and we're gonna do player controller is the name of the script. You can name whatever you want. It doesn't. It literally doesn't make a difference. But if we go create an ad, you'll see it appears here just like a component. It's basically making your own component, right? Now I'm about to open this thing up, but just in case you don't have it, I want you to know that this exists. You can actually uh, get Visual Studio 2017, the community version, as a free download. You can also do free trials if you are actually going to be releasing something, but for now you're, you're not, so you can just go ahead and get the free download and use it up. Um, you can also go, you can use Mono Develop, that also comes with it. And a lot of times, actually, uh, this uh, Visual Studio will already be installed with your Unity installation. So, just in case this doesn't pop up, I don't want you to freak out. So, if you go over here to the player, and you go to click on this script right here, the actual name, player controller right here, you can either double click right here or down here where it shows up. I personally just like to double click here, and it'll actually open up whatever program that you're supposed to be using. All right, after it takes 10 years to load up, you'll eventually have something that looks somewhat like this. Like you might have a different background, different theme to it. Uh, you can just get rid of all the stuff and ignore it for now. Now, basically anything that happens between this bracket and this bracket right here are the are within the script, right? It's within the player controller and uh, the game has to use it. Let's go over here. You can push tab to go out and let's start learning about things, about coding. Right now you shouldn't know what anything on the screen is unless you learned some coding before. First thing you need to know is what a variable is. It's a container. It holds data. So there are many different types. Each one of these types holds different types of data. You don't need to know what these are right now. All right. So over here, you're going to start to see somewhat of a pattern. You say what type of variable it is. You say the name, what you want to call it. You, can, you put an equal sign and you set up what this equals. So you see how this says 1.5 F here. F is just a uh, a way for it to know that that is a float and not a, another type of variable. These three are the main ones that you're going to be using pretty much throughout all the programming, floats and strings. There are others, of course, uh, booleans are pretty important actually. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So put bool back equals true. So some number equals 1.5 f, right? So f just lets the system know that that is a float and not a other type of variable. You can actually try to do 1.5f. Sometimes you'll see, you see over here where it says double underneath it. It thinks it's another type of uh, variable. Just put f there. Uh, two, it's just a straight up number. An integer is a whole number. It just says string. Anything inside these quotes gets uh, put in there. Strings are just words. It's just characters. It could be number characters as well, like one, two, three, or one, two, three and th that counts it just the, the system doesn't see those as numbers it sees them as characters can't do math with this one two three right here and bool fact equals true right so let's start to show you something boy start again you don't need to really fully understand this i'm just trying to show you the an example of how what integers do and how they're important So, we wrote this code right here that basically says, if that fact is true, which it is, then it's going to print what I wrote in Babel. It's going to say some number, and then it's going to show the some number. Then it's going to say some whole number. Then it's going to write some whole number. We have to write two string here because print only uses a string. Okay? And let's save that. 
and let's run it. Hello YouTube friends, some number 1.5, some whole number 2. This was true obviously, because I said it's true. And then it printed my babel. I could set that equal to anything. So let's say for instance, babel equals uh, I like pizza, which is also a fact. And I play it. I like pizza, some number, same thing. See what I mean? So let's actually get into making something happen here though. So private void update. Now, update is that function that's called every frame of the game, like we were talking about earlier, right? So, so that's because uh, it's updated all the time. So it's because every time Unity is updated, that's where you can get like things like inputs, and you can like move things around. You can apply different forces because it's it's con the game's constantly using it. It's constantly saying, "Okay, everything update. Okay, everything update." So everything that happens inside these two little brackets right here, it happens every time it updates, right? In Unity world input is is a class in itself it's like player controller up here and if you hit this input and you put a dot after it you can actually get a bunch of like different things so for now let's say get key key code dot a and so if this happens right here we're going to do something in general right now the problem is this isn't actually doing anything like it's just okay key code a but you're not actually doing anything with that right so you want to put an if there you want to say okay if that happens right if input dot key 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 code a like this if this happens then we're going to do something what are we going to do well we don't have anything to do with two you see a bunch of blank spots here there's no variables well, let's make a variable for the actual rigid body of the player. You don't even know what this means yet, but you can put public rigid body 2D, because it's a rigid body 2D. You can say RB for now, and it doesn't equal anything, right? All right, so if we go back to Unity over here, because we made it public, it'll pop up like this. You see RB right there, and that's what we named it over on our scripting. You can actually have it on here like this and if you click this little dot right here you'll actually see the player pop up so we need to do that so now we have the player's rigid body actually assigned to the script over here we can actually do things to it so now we have if the input of a happens what do we want to happen so rb now is that rigid body that we already assigned you hit this dot and you can actually make something happen, right? So we want to say velocity. In other words, the speed that it is going at. Um, you want to say equals. Now, the speed happens when what's called a vector 2. Again, I'm not expecting you guys to retain or know all this, but uh, over time we're going to, you know, it'll become more clear. We're just trying to get a feel for like how the controls work. We're going to go more in depth in it in the next video. And then we're going to try to peel back the layers here, so to speak. So equals new vector two, which is an object type that holds an X and Y value. And the first value that you're going to put in here is the X. Now this is the speed that he's going in X. So if he's standing still, he's going zero, zero, right? This is zero in the horizontal world, and this is zero inside of the uh, vertical plane, right? So vector two, and because he's pushing the A key, that's pretty much left in our talk, right? So we'll put negative five there for fun. So the more this negative number is, the more left he will go. All right, so let's hit play. Character falls down, we push A, ta da! And he moves over and teeters off the world, but at least he moved left though, while we're holding down that key, right? So that's how that's how the beginning of scripting happens. Like it if it is confusing right now, it's because it's supposed to be. It's a whole new topic. It's death by a thousand cuts, like I said. Uh, we've just to even get started here, we have to introduce so many different like topics here. Like, like how are you supposed to completely understand private and public that 
we didn't explain what's this mono behavior what's all this using stuff up top like it, it's very 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 confusing at the beginning everybody thinks so don't worry it's gonna get less overwhelming I'm probably gonna have to re well, I'm going to re-explain the same thing probably dozens of times when I'm talking about all this stuff and we and for people that have coded before we definitely did some things that we weren't supposed to like this public rigid body RB like it's just not best practice and uh, don't worry we're gonna be fixing it as we go along we're gonna be figuring things out a little bit better we're gonna start talking a little bit more about like uh, how to change inputs up and things like that it's it's gonna become more and more clear every video okay so be hopeful have yourself a great day thanks for spending this time with me i'll see you next time bye